Great to be here this afternoon in Cooksbrook with Janet Moulton, our NDP candidate for Colchester Muscadabit Valley, and one of Nova Scotia's most preeminent musicians, J.P. Cormier, uh, here at his Cooksbrook studio. Uh, and we're here to uh, speak about uh, a problem that's been a major problem in the production of J.P.'s music and is a major problem for people throughout rural Nova Scotia, uh, and that's uh, rural internet service. J.P. has had a lot of particular experience about this, and just uh, like to, to ask you if you could you know, tell us about how it's made difficult, uh, the, the work that you do. Well, when the pandemic began, it was obvious that uh, my main income, which is touring, was over. So we lost an, an inordinate amount of money immediately when everything was cancelled. Uh, but my wife and I, especially my wife, she's a very, very smart woman, and she just looked at the situation and went, we already have a studio, you have a YouTube channel that's very active already, and you have enough subscribers that you're allowed to monetize your videos for advertising, so why don't we just put everything you do on YouTube? Yeah. Which is a fantastic idea, and it's, it has worked very, very well. But the problem is, is that we have a, all we have for Internet here is a North Nova cable tower, which is, um, just doesn't work. It's, it's so slow that there's no way to upload anything. It's, it just it won't do it. And I'm very proud that you came here. Uh, because there hasn't been another single politician, not one, yeah. in any party yeah. that's ever offered to help me. Yeah. You're the first one. Well, I, I can tell you that when I was MLA for Colchester Muscadabit Valley, which is going back now over a decade, uh, the development of infrastructure in this part of Nova Scotia was a key core issue then, just as much as it's a key core issue now. So yep. it did, it, we understand that this needs focus, yep. it needs priority, and we need to get it done. You're absolutely right, it's an essential service. We need to develop some of the lower cost options that municipalities and co-ops and non-profits can be a part of, and, and make it so that everybody in rural Nova Scotia is able to make the contribution that they're ready to make exactly yeah and that's a that's a that's the one of the biggest points and you know it because I can tell what, what, what we've talked about the it isn't just the service it's what happens when everybody gets the service how much offshoot there is of that oh, yeah. mm -hmm. there's so many more things that happen when everybody gets connected yeah. properly right totally. this has never been about streaming Netflix yeah. Yeah. we can do that yeah. yeah not well but we can do yeah. it right yeah. it's about Connectivity, yeah, and you understand that, yeah. and it's, I'm, I'm very, and again, I gotta say, I'm, I'm so proud that you came yeah. because you're, you're the only person I've ever heard speak about this in, in our government, that is, that is pulling for, for these people that don't, aren't, just aren't connected, and they well, need to be. Well, we, we understand that it is absolutely core to the dynamic future of rural Nova Scotia. Yeah. So thanks very much for You're explaining about this, and we really appreciate it. You have yeah. my vote. You always have. Well, bless your heart. You always have. <laughs> if I could just add to that, uh, GP, it's yes. uh, at the doors, I'm hearing it all the time. Oh, and, God. Uh, people yes. are complaining, and they really feel that it is a necessity to build their businesses, to grow. Our economy will not grow if we don't have the, this oh, access. No. Oh, no. Exactly. And, and when the kids get sent home from school, the school's Absolutely. closed and, 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 and they haven't gotten the internet, it's a different deal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I had my three grandchildren home yeah. last winter and last fall and they, it was not the same. And uh, you, we need this, uh, to have this affordable, uh, you know, accountable and functional all the time, yeah. not just every other day or every other yeah. hour, because yeah. that's what it seems like. Yeah. And they're very life, frustrated as well. <laughs> life doesn't stop no. because of tech, because technology stops. No, right? mm -hmm. that's, for that's sure. right. The bills don't very stop dependent. coming in, and the classes don't get no, stop getting right. taught. That's right. That's right. The medical emergencies don't stop happening. Like that's you, right. you, it has to be there. Yeah, no, that's the there. truth. And I, know, and I know we have much larger problems in the province than this. I'm well aware of that as well. Yeah, sure. But this is one that well, this could, is a problem. This is yeah. one that yeah. could could start to fix a whole bunch of other yeah. satellite issues yeah. right. if it were fixed. That's right. right? That's right. And yeah, I, well, that's I, how I, we I commend the both of you. Well, that's I really great. Do. Well, thank, thank you. you.